Hello. Hi, Kesha. How are you? Good, good. Welcome on stage. You're yeah, you're now live. I think. Uh, no, and thank you for the thank you to the, the the people who waited for the last uh, last oh, session. Thank you very much for your patience. I know. You, you, really nice. <laughs> and, you know, we we want to go and you know, and uh, yeah, do other things. But this is really a good presentation, so I'm looking forward to it. And um, thank can you, you share your screen? <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Uh, uh, I'm here to present a new services of prototyping and manufacturing of copper-based printed electronics. Um, so first of all, I will give you a short overview of uh, who ISRA is and what are the skills and know-how of our company. Uh, then I will expose how we ISRA is moving from smart card manufacturing to printed electronics. And then I will give you a few examples of innovative uh, projects implementing those printed electronics technologies. So first of all, ISRA in a snapshot. So ISRA is a smart card manufacturer based in France, more than 45 years of experience, more than 10 million euro turnover, one third of the activity abroad, uh, 90 people, 3,000 uh, 3, square meter industrial facilities, all, all based in France, and uh, 50 million smart cards manufactured uh, every year. Uh, we are four people uh, working in R&D and innovation, and this year, uh, last year, sorry, uh, ISRA has been uh, winning a French recovery plan, uh, enabling us and helping us uh, to invest more than 5 million euro uh, in the three years uh, between 2020 and 23 uh, in the new equipment and uh, and uh, the, our innovation development. Uh, then, our know-how. So, what are we doing at Istra? First of all, we are uh, experts in printing. Uh, more than 40 years experience in uh, offset screen printing, digital printing, uh, of course, for uh, our main activity of uh, card manufacturing. Uh, so what you have to understand is uh, when we are talking about smart card manufacturing, basically you will print uh, both sides of the card. Then uh, when we are talking about smart card, it's usually uh, contained a chip, uh, communicating um, most of the times with NFC, so that's uh, NFC antenna, if you don't know, maybe you can see it in a small corner, and then we will uh, laminate this in uh, a card, uh, including this uh, NFC and uh, security elements uh, that we can, and that's the third point, that we can personalize internally uh, which means um, uh, in some cases the card is made for a specific person, so you have to print the name, a barcode, uh, and encode the chip, of course, to have the, 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 the information related to that specific person. So now, how, uh, how come we are moving to printed electronics? So, uh, for, yeah, basically, uh, what you have to uh, know is that all electronics need conductive patterns. Uh, so this specific conductive patterns market represents more than $70 billion. Uh, and uh, there are mainly two ways to do that, to manufacture those conductive patterns. The first one that everyone knows, uh, and that's related to the picture above, uh, which is the chemical etching. Uh, so in this uh, process, you have um, a plain surface of copper and you remove chemically uh, what you don't need. Uh, in the end, uh, most of the cases, uh, you, remo you remove almost all the, the copper. So you, so you can imagine that uh, uh, such a subtractive technology uh, is not the best in terms of, um, I mean, uh, saving materials and uh, env environmental issues. Then the second way uh, would be uh, the silver ink printing. 
So usually that's done with a silver uh, silver ink and 